in March, when the pandemic began, I know Ghana at that time had about 80 um, ventilators available. I think that number is probably somewhere in the region of 120, 130 right now. Um, Ghana Health Services, if you include private hospitals and everything, it probably gets close to 200. Um, but we're in a country where, when I was doing the math in terms of our physician capacity, our acute care capacity, if we assume that all our, all our healthcare professionals were all on duty at the mm -hmm. same time, managing all COVID-19 cases, our limit for where we'd be in trouble was 8,000. And the limit, 8,000 cases, active cases, and our limit for when we'd be in health system distress was about 14,000 active cases. So it was, it was, I also thought it was very interesting. We hit 13,856, and then we, then we did that change in definition of active cases. That saw us come down to 3,000 overnight. Um, but what also that came with was shifting all the care to the homes, and you, you see that kind of thing growing up. But I think if you're looking at a country that's planning long term for what COVID could mean, one of the bare minimum things you have to have is a patient registry where you are managing, you are, you are collecting symptoms, you are interviewing people. It's a full data collection study, and we're right. not doing that right now in any meaningful way. So even there, I'm not, I'm not sure we are, we, are, we are preparing or prepared to really deal with the long-term cost we're facing now.